Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, my friend Shaharu and I create this beautiful look for you. I actually create another version with a different lip color. If you like what you see, continue watching and make sure to give us some love and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. For today's look, I would love to create Shaharu's skin also again luminous skin and just really strong smoky eye and a rich red lip i think it would be look amazing on her give her skin a little soothing serum I love this eye cream. Sometimes I use the extra just around the last mile line. Again, always give some love for the neck and the chest. When you do skin prep, you should consider face and the neck as well. I think it's part of the face. For foundation today, I'm using one of my favorite. I love this foundation because skin still feel like skin. They are medium coverage. If you want a lot of coverage, this may not be the right foundation for you. Shaharu really have great skin for concealer mainly I just put under the eye grab the nose you can use either fingers or brushes up to you when you use concealer I want to set the skin mainly just under the eye, around the nose. And the T zone. For brown on Shiharu, 
Then I'm doing more a dramatic eye and lip. I'm gonna keep the brown somewhat natural but thinner shape, not too full because I think it's gonna look too masculine if I do a really strong eye and a strong brown. And for the front area here, I would go backward like this and you get some shading without too much color. I don't want to overly block in the eyebrow shape. I still want to see the hair going through. You follow the same step on the other side. This eyebrow pencil is great, but the only tricky part is that you have to sharpen them with a knife. They don't come with the brown sharpener. In the US, they only sell online now. And I think in Canada, they still have store, but the line is very popular in Asia. For the eye, it's quite intense, so I'm gonna start with a black pencil. This one from Urban Decay. Very long wear and they're super black. Look down for me. I also wanna do the upper water lash line. Look down, don't go here. And you can just blend it, the edges out slowly before it dry. And you really smudge out the line. You can do a little more. Blend them out. For eye a little more hooded, I generally do the liner a little thicker before I smudge it out. Because I think sometimes when the eyes are a little hooded, when they look up, the liner disappear. So I basically just make them a little thicker. And I smudge it out. This is not really a liner liner look. I'm doing this just basically create depth before I put the shadow on top. And this way you can get a lot of depth in the eye when you finish the look. And this is a long wear pencil, so make sure you blend really well before it's set. And don't worry about it's not too perfect blending for this area because the eyeshadow is going to overlay on top and you're not going to see all the detail of the pencil underneath. All you see just the depth underneath only. Because I want the eye really cat-like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the liner a little bit here, down here, and it keep this elongated shape right there. So I just a little bit in the corner here. Same thing, blend it out.
This is a collaboration from Matt Marcus, famous duo photographer, and they do a collaboration of Lancome. And I love this palette, the color they chose. I'm gonna put all black here to set the pencil that I smudged out earlier. And basically, I pressed the product in there. For those who wanna do the eye first before foundation, you can. It's up to you, whatever, easier for you. I generally do skin first, and I know it's a lot of color that you have really fall off and you can start the skin after. But I just did the skin already. And basically, I trace back the shape that I created earlier. Okay. Like I say, it's not about too perfect. A little smudge shade is nice. I just wait for me. Yeah. And Q-tip is your best friend. You can use the Q-tip to clean them. Next, I'm gonna use the green shade. Can I blend it out, edge it? Basically overlay on top. See all these layer of color, you create so much dimension on the eye. And a lot of you may wonder why do I have to do a pencil first and then the shadow and then another shadow. But it's the depth that you create and it shows through. When you take a picture in the camera, the flash and everything, it gonna show through all different layers that you do. And for photograph work, I think it's so beautiful. And you just paint basically you graduate the gradient from really dark and fade it up and as you can see I use more pointier blending brush and I use that pointy look up for me just that other half of the eye that I didn't put the black So that area, just a little. You can use a small blending brush for that area as well. It's good as well here. So using the latest shade in the palette here, I'm using it as a blending. It's a little bit on the bottom as well. I'm gonna curve Shiharu lashes. I think one, this is one of my favorite mascara from Maybelline. It's give you tons and tons and tons of volume. For the look on Shiharu, but I'm gonna use four lashes just for the drama, for fun. I think it would be great as well. So I'm gonna get off the camera. I'm gonna put some uh, lashes on for you guys. What I usually do, I always go through with the mascara again to blend the natural lashes into the four lashes.
depend the shape of the eye on Shiharu, I cut one third of the lash and I only put the two thirds on the end there because the shape of the eye, if I put the whole thing, it's gonna be too, too long. Show the eyebrow a little bit to tie everything together. Now using the bronzer, I'm just go with the face a little bit. And this is the new look at highlighter from Mark Jacob. I'm still tatting out. Pretty sheer. I think this, if you want a really natural glow, is perfect product for it. I'm use this blush color from Clay de Poe. I'm actually depot them, so I only have in my palette, but I love the color. We're planning to do a red lip for this as well, but I think sometimes you have a, an idea in mind, but then you keep changing your mind. And this was the situation I have right now. So I was thinking I'm gonna do two different lip versions for you to decide. So some I think might like the lighter color, and some would like the red color. Either way, I'm gonna show it to you both. The first one I'm gonna use is this one from the Armani. I think this is more a safer way. If you're not sure, if you want to go that drastic in the lips. This is lip version number one and have a look at this and I'm gonna do a lip version number two and you guys can tell me what you think. So now I'm trying my second version of the red lips and you guys can decide which one you like better. I'm choosing this lip liner. I think it's a tiny bit darker, but I think it's nice to keep define the lip really well. And the lipstick I used was a liquid lipstick, so you don't need to use a lip liner if you don't want to. My camera guy did not like the red lipstick. My assistant do. Each of them like a different lipstick. You guys can let me know which one you like better. You can leave in the comment below and I would love to hear your thought on this. Hey guys, so this is not another version. I hope you give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow both on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching.